All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Blue Echo. We are going to take a look at an add-on or a mission pack, I guess would be the best way to describe it. It's the HPG Airbus H145 H160 Charter Operations Mission Pack. And the developer is, well, it's Andrew from Discord. Um, that's his username on there, Daviersoft. Devierosoft, <laughs> Devierosoft, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, Andrew, if you watch this, let me know in the comments how to properly uh, pronounce that. But he is the same developer that put together the um, random and anywhere uh, custom missions for the H145 for the EMS variant. We are sitting at a uh, small airstrip just outside of Nashville. Uh, I forget the name of this, John C. Toon Airport. There it is. And we're going to run through this one. This is an add-on or a charter operations mission for the H-160 or the H-145 civilian or luxury variants. And to install this, when you uh, find the link down in the description, go over to flightsim.to, download it, uh, unpack it, or unzip it into your community folder or, uh, you know, whatever add-ons linker you use, go into Hype Operation Center, refresh the mission index once that's been extracted, come in here, refresh the index, and you should see Charter Operations here. So once you click Refresh Index here and you can see Charter Operations, we're going to click on that and we'll click Charter Operation Center 0.2.1. We'll get going here. Uh, I'm going to switch over to VR for the flight, but... Um, it looks like we've got a location, Mount Sinai Primitive Baptist Church, and we'll hit the tourist trip here, 5.14 nautical miles. We've selected a 30 minute tour duration. I'm actually going to adjust that down to 20 and I'm going to click confirm here. So our timer starts. I'm going to get the helicopter started up, switch over to VR, and we'll be right back with our flight and we'll take a 20 minute little tour. Be right back. All right, we're switched over to VR. I'm gonna double check our timer. I think we ate up a couple of our minutes here. Yeah, 17.25. So we missed a couple minutes while I got everything switched over, but um, I am going to make sure that we are ready to go. Parking brake is on, our landing gear is down. I've got the h -tos turned off engines are in flight mode so we're going to lift off here i've got trim release held start our departure coming up on the collective getting light there we go so a couple things about this um i'm going to actually just kind of depart straight out this way um you'll get a score for this it'll actually grade your Grade your flight. One thing that I've noticed is the speed that you fly around the points of interest and the altitude that you're supposed to be at uh, can have an effect on your scoring. And so it may not be 100% realistic with how we would you know, normally look to fly helicopters around, but... Um, it's interesting in that, you know, this is something that we have an opportunity to do and fly around um, with some scoring and stuff like that. Gives you another task uh, as well. So I've got the Nav D map up over here and we're going to follow this. We're going to fly over to this point of interest. Um, right now we have no places visited. Our difficulty level is normal. This is a normal visit, which means we fly in the vicinity of the point that was selected slow enough and low enough to have it count uh, our visitors satisfaction with the tour so we're at about a thousand feet i'm actually gonna come down a little bit it says we're still a couple minutes away three nautical miles from our current location so We'll go over there and take a look at that. I'm gonna slow us down and get us 
within range. And we'll talk a little bit more about that scoring. Once we hit this first point of interest, we should be able to add another random point on and have it continue from there. But two and a half miles, starting to slow down a little bit more here and uh, decrease our altitude. Um, real quickly, I know we're kind of focusing on this particular mission set. If you haven't seen the H-145 action pack custom missions, you definitely are going to want to go check those out. Um, Andrew posts in the user missions channel quite a bit with uh, the work that he's done here, and it's great. Um, his missions have custom animation, wave files, uh, a lot of different uh, custom things that really leverage the ability for the action pack from the High Performance Group products to be 500. I still cannot figure out what audio channel those cues are coming across on my system. So sorry, that's a little bit loud, but I'm gonna start slowing us down. We are probably, it's done some auto zoom here. So let me see, okay, it's off on our right. So it says, make the tourists happy, fly low and slow around the point. Now we do have some obstructions, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. I'm gonna zoom this map in a little bit as well. Let's see if we can't pick out where this point is. It's gonna be back on this previous block over here. But as we fly in VR, I also wanted to mention um, from the content creation standpoint, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the VR headset that I'm using. So I used to stream and uh, create videos in VR and I've been struggling for the last couple weeks trying to get all of those um, settings dialed in and let me pick out this location. I think it's right over here to our right. Not really seeing it. Okay, so we switch back over to this screen. We can see that our passenger's satisfaction is starting to rise. It's at 12% right now. But as we come down a little bit slower and lower, I'm wondering if it's this church building right here it's rising again so actual satisfaction is 17 percent we're getting our landing gear warnings as well uh, in this case it just picked uh, you know a random a random location and it's not actually right on this main drag it's back here and i'm not seeing it but Okay, so it should be just off to our right over here. Right down in this area. We still got 11 minutes in our tour, so we should be able to do this location and one other. I'm guessing that this spot shows up in the database, but it's probably not rendered in very well. Actual satisfaction is 47%. We can continue to fly around here a little bit and it's going to continue to rise. We'll see if we can't get it up a little bit higher and then we'll try and pick out an additional spot. It must be right down there on the corner of those two streets. And we're up at 67%. So trim release is... Uh, release now and I'm gonna use the mouse here to try and pick an additional location now I have not done this before where it's supposed to query and give us a list I wonder if we can just 
just do a random place. So this is one, um, I don't know if it's going to give us another spot. I hope it does. If not, we'll fly around for about nine more minutes and then go back and land. But, um, yeah, so we talked about this mission, um, kind of the mission system, and then the, um, the HP Reverb G2 is what I switched back over to. I was using the Vario Arrow, and... When I fly in VR here, the HP Reverb G2 with OpenXR Toolkit has a setting that really negates or gets rid of um, the... Let me see if I can prompt this again. Let's see if I can pick a spot for us. Maybe if we confirm next. Do next random place again. We're not getting here. Yeah, we'll return back over to the area of that one. We actually lost our point on the map as well while it's searching for another spot. Um, one troubleshooting thing, if you guys um, are going to try this out, there's another setting up here where you can actually adjust the data query service to a different one and I know we've got this error here but let's see if we can't have it pick up that we're in the vicinity of this location again so it says we're too fast and too high but maybe changing the, the data point or the data query service will, will help us out um, there is information in this that gives you the format and the different mission type or point of interest Check types, power. I guess. Check power. Check power. I don't want to get into a vortex ring state. But you can create your own uh, points of interest, your own tour. And that opens up a whole mess of possibilities for us in the sim, especially if we have the ability to pick a, a certain, you know, group of points of interest and you know, say, here's an hour long tour in Italy. But to be able to create a custom list of points of interest that you might want to go to, um, Actually, I think is is kind of a cool idea. Okay, so our satisfaction is rising. I'm gonna see now that we switched. Let's see if we can query another next random place. Okay, Westmead Waterfall. We're going to fly over to that one now. So the satisfaction is 81%. And now I believe that's going to lock in so that it gives us time to fly over to the next location. I'm glad that that second query worked here. But um, yeah, kind of like the, the EMS and the firefighting missions, these add-ons and these mission sets give you the ability to do some really interesting stuff and even if you don't know an area just plugging in some coordinates um, or, or spawning in at a airport location and then saying find me a random spot is, is kind of a, a cool idea and a cool concept so I would imagine that there's more advanced stuff coming with this possibly like loading and unloading of passengers um, because that seems to be something that Andrew has got a, a really good handle on with the EMS missions and stuff like that too. So 
it'll be interesting to see where he takes this concept. And this is a very early version of it, but um, very cool that you can say, I want to do a 20 or 30 minute mission around here, flying people around to see points of interest. And then you have the ability to go do that. Now, this one's a little bit further away, but I think we're still going to be good because well, we've only got four minutes to get back. <laughs> we're going to be late again. Um, and that's all right. As long as we don't abort this mission, this will stay up. We'll continue following along to this next location. Try and come in and do a nice quick pass around it and then beat feet back for the airport so we're not too late. But... I think the idea is just give you guys um, some examples of what this looks like and how it might be used. And not wanting to make the video too long, I selected 20 minutes. It seems like it's a good cutoff. Uh, keep the video shorter than that. But uh, I think I'll have a lot of fun doing this in the future and probably getting out and exploring some areas that I haven't seen or wouldn't fly to otherwise as well. So had we not, uh, you know, had a problem with the data query, probably would have given us another point of interest and we wouldn't be fighting the clock now to get back. So it looks like we're getting close. I'm gonna actually drop collective, pitch up a little bit try and kill off the speed 500 while we look for this next point of interest something tells me this terrain is not loading in properly but So I believe on the normal waypoints, you're supposed to fly slowly in the vicinity of the point of interest. It's actually back behind us here. But not come to a complete hover stop, like an aerial hover stop. still didn't jump over and say that we were in range that's all right let's head back for the uh, home base here so we can get there relatively quickly tour completed all right so that should be our airfield up there straight in front of us a time check and see what our clock looks like. We've got 30 seconds to get back on time. That ain't happening, but we can accelerate. 500. Hopefully, not be back too late. So, I think your, your promptness goes uh, towards your score. I don't know on like a normal difficulty level um, if any of those violations are things that would cause you to like fail the mission necessarily, but uh, may end up with a point reduction or a score reduction because you're either ending the tour too quickly or ending it too late. Company's mad at you if you get back too late and the people are mad if you return home too soon so
we won't be too far off, but we are going to be late arriving, so. So getting back to uh, the video stuff, uh, I do plan on doing more streams using the HP Reverb G2 until I can find a better solution for the Vario Aero. Um, it just picks up too much of the shake. The smoothing that you can do with the HP Reverb G2 is, um, it's really beneficial for the viewer of these videos. I have recorded, you know, just like what I'm doing now using the Vario and I'm watching the video back and it's just, it's way too uh, shaky. So landing lights are coming on, gears down. Start slowing up, so dropping collective, pitching up a little bit, our speed should be coming down. Shuffle over to that helipad, but I think we're going to have to hover taxi over to it. Once I land, uh, it's going to end the mission, so. I mean, technically, I think we can come to a. Come in for a landing here, hold six feet off for the collective. our parking brake the nose wheel lock is disengaged come up to maybe two and a half or three and finish our taxi off of the runway here so you can see you know remaining visit time it's counting up you know 192 seconds over next location visited places and it shows our global passenger satisfaction can click end mission here then and it gives you the option of sending that over so hopefully you guys um, if you're looking for some stuff to do with the h160 until the action pack comes out you'll um, you'll head over to flightsim.to and pick up this for the civilian and luxury variants of the helicopter and if you're interested in following development progress um, make sure you go over to the hype performance group discord and you look at the user missions channel because that's where updates for this and the random and anywhere uh, ems mission stuff that andrew's been working on get posted uh, in between updates to flight sim.to he does much more frequent updates over at uh discord and there's stuff for people to try out there's also documentation on how to set up your own tour so feel free to head over there and um, like i said you'll see uh, description links down below and there's also links for all my socials head on over to twitch and tiktok and x or twitter and make sure that you're clicking like and subscribe here Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried this out. And if you're using VR, leave me a comment down below and let me know which headset you're using. And if you've had any success capturing with the Vario Arrow. See you next time.